Okay, so I'm gonna go over with you how to do rolling dumbbell extensions. Now, a lot of people don't know about this one. This is not too popular, but uh, it's also a very effective exercise. It combines a skull crusher, or lying tricep extension, with, a, with a, a press, okay? So you're really getting full benefit out of this exercise. You're gonna be lying down on the bench, flat bench. Again, making sure all six points are touching, are firmly planted. So one, two, left and right foot. Three, your butt. Four and five, your shoulders. Six, your head. All firmly planted on the floor, or on the floor and bench. You want to choose a weight that you can comfortably go through the full range of motion with without cheating the exercise. Now, this exercise is different from a regular press. So you're not going to come straight up. What you're going to do is you're going to keep your, your hands in, so neutral grip, so it's not uh, prone, it's not supinated. Neutral grip. Your, your palms are going to face you the whole time. Now it's called a rolling press because you're literally going to roll and extend. So you come down and you let your triceps roll back. This is where you stretch your, your tricep. Roll forward and extend. Roll back, roll forward and extend. You want to keep your elbows in at all times. You don't want to flare them out because then you're not working the exercise correctly. Come down controlled. Roll them back, come up, and squeeze. Like any time you work against gravity, you want to breathe out. So here I'm releasing, and now I'm working against gravity. <sighs> squeeze. It's much like a, uh, a skull crusher, only you don't have a bar in the middle of your face, so you can't really crush your skull. Roll, roll, extend. And that is a rolling dumbbell extension.